Welcome back to Lori's Boston Found with Thrifted is the New Black. My name is Lori. I'm a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app and on eBay. I buy things at thrift stores and yard sales and I flip them online for a profit and I do it full-time. If you're new here, I'm so happy that you found me. Welcome. This is one of my dogs. This is Lulu Marie. I bribed her to sit on my lap um, <laughs> with some treats. So she used to be in my videos all the time, but now that I, no, that's it, baby. That's it, girl. But I moved my office around. There she goes. She took her treat and left, and I'm over here. She's not in my videos very often. So I have a treat for you today. I went thrifting over the course of two days. I brought you along with me. I have a haul involved. Um, I'm sharing some information on phase two of retail openings here in Massachusetts. I'm located in Central Mass, so I have some information on what's open, what's not, maybe when some things are opening. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up at any time. It really, really helps my channel and it is so appreciated. Also, if you are enjoying this and you like reseller content, like what sold videos or trends in reselling, uh, thrift with me's, hauls, all that good stuff, you'll get that here on this channel. So if you are interested, please subscribe to my channel and you can also hit that bell notification um, so you will know when I release videos. But I do release videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So let's get into the video. I just did my shipping. It is Monday, June 8th in Massachusetts and we just entered phase two. And I was really excited. I had I have plans today to shop with my good friend Jen and I was hoping to hit all the savers around because Goodwill made an announcement that they're not opening until tomorrow. So I plan on hitting Goodwill tomorrow, but today was my savers day and Jen called my local savers and they said they weren't opening until next week. So we have shifted to plan B and I'm driving down towards Jen's neck of the woods and we are going to do a little retail arbitrage at a place that I've never been to. So um, I've heard about this place. It's a local spot and it's Jen's honey hole. I'm hoping that I'm going to find some good stuff. Then we're going to call a few other savers in her area and see if there is anything open. Um, so I was a little disappointed, but I'm really excited to see Jen. And I am just gonna extend this video to tomorrow when Goodwill opens because I'm going to hit the Goodwills tomorrow. So come along with me. It is so freaking beautiful out today. It's like 73 degrees right now. The air is nice and cool. It's perfect. This would be such a good rummage day sale uh, or yard sale day. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Come along with me. Okay, so Jen and I have already sorted through a bunch of things and we are just reviewing. I ended up purchasing this Free People. Uh, these were all Free People samples. I passed on this yellow one. I wasn't crazy about the yellow. I bought a pink version that already sold. And I passed on this purple dress as well. My shorter flowy dresses from People haven't been working. Kind of on the hunt for more maxi length. Jen found a couple cute ones. <laughs> she is the cutest. Uh, we are looking through this rack of Spanx that we came upon. I'm pretty excited. Um, and yeah. All right, we're taking a pit stop for Jen <laughs> and me. We need a bathroom very badly. <laughs> it's bathroom time at Whole Foods. Oh, it's nice. We can see if we can get every so. Lots of the restaurants we were hoping to go into mm -hmm. are closed. Not yet. And so we came down to this fun, like, outdoor. Oh, well, we could eat here. <laughs> Everything's looking really good right now. Um, but we're at Whole Foods. We're just hunting for a bathroom. Okay. Ah, oh, we found it. Oh, my gosh. Let the pregnant mama in. You go first, love. <laughs> so I just had such a nice time with my friend Jen. It looks like today is turning into a retail arbitrage day. We circulated that outdoor plaza. And what I'm realizing is that even though stores are all set to open today, a lot of them haven't. So it looks like it's more like a soft opening as opposed to a grand opening in Massachusetts. Um, like Lululemon was closed. A lot of the cafes were closed. We wanted to do some outdoor seating and um, have a nice lunch. All of the restaurants that offered outdoor seating 
were only available for takeout. So a lot of things hadn't changed back yet. So it was a little disappointing. We ended up going to Sweet Greens, which is one of my absolute favorite places to have lunch. We just found a bench and we ate outside and it was really so nice. And Jen is due in the summer and she's just the cutest. And it was so nice to spend time with a friend. Um, so now she got a tip that the store Sierra's was having a really good sale. So I'm not sure if it's open. I There was one that was close by. So that's where I'm headed right now. There's also a Nordstrom rack here, but just driving right now, it looks like it's not open. Um, it's crazy. So many places are still not open. So kind of a disappointing kind of disappointing from that aspect though there's a Marshall's here maybe I'll go there but anyway I am gonna see if Sierra's is open so this is one of the free people pieces that I got today um, at that sample place it wasn't just for free people um, and it wasn't necessarily like a sample store, just the selection that they had of free people items were samples. So everything was marked sample. Um, but uh, this is so beautiful. The, sorry, the beading is absolutely gorgeous. So the chest across on this, there's no size tag on this, is 28 inches. Um, so this could literally fit as like a cover up for a small or like a tunic for somebody in a size large or extra large. This is another one of those pieces that really gives me like Outer Banks vibes, but it's so beachy and airy and it has these gauzy flutter sleeves. I loved the mixed stripes with the floral. It has a raw edge. This is just so pretty. I love this so much. And then the back, the back is cut all the way down to here with a hook and eye closure and these tassels in the back. Absolutely love this. This is an extra small. Would definitely fit up to a medium though. That'll be like in the $60 range. This little flirty skirt is so cute. Um, I think Angie's taking this, but it has the smocking in the back and then just all of these layers here. Um, almost like, uh, reminds me of like Tinkerbell style. So pretty, I love that. Um, I got this Journey Lucky Brand shirt, which I really love and it has that really fun cutout here. Um, super soft, it was a size 2X. Probably gonna be 25 or 30. Yep, I'll be right up, hun. And then the last two items that I got were these Spanx. Um, new with tag. Appreciate it. Yeah, I get, I get have free Thank you. Are these all clean over here? Uh, these two are not. These two are not. So, these are... Thank you. So, I was so excited to get in here. I was perusing by the shoes, but nothing really caught my eye. And for whatever reason, I wasn't feeling shoes today. I was very excited to get over to the clothing. I did pick up a pair of high top patent leather Nikes. But they were charging like 13 or 15 dollars for that I ended up putting back i should probably run the comps on those wonder if that was a mistake or not but i headed quickly over to the blazers these were oscar boots real fur um, but i passed on those too they were expensive and then i headed over to the blazers because i've picked up a christian dior suit here before and they had another one except this one was pretty beat up and the hemming on the inside of that sleeve wasn't good there was discoloration on the inside of the blazer and when i recently sent the christian dior to the real real they sent back the skirt and only kept the blazer this was a brand teeny weeny uh looked like really good hardware it's from the uk it was high end but it was low waisted it was a small size and the comps weren't great so i passed and I also passed on the next two items. This theory had a stain. So later in the video, I keep referring to this thrift shop as a church, and it is not a church. It is a place for advocacy and shelter for women and children in need. So I just included their mission statement uh, for you to read on my way in here. So I don't get much footage in here, but here we go. 
Unfortunately, the only footage I got from inside Abby's house uh, thrift store was in the houseware room. They have this room separate. They also have a separate room for um, undergarments and bathing suits and linens. So I liked this classic Mickey mug, but I passed on that. But this was all I got, and I'm heading out to the car now to let you know how things went. So the Goodwill experience was really not bad at all. I had to wait about 15 minutes outside of the door at this particular Goodwill I went to. And um, we were given a one hour limit, although they didn't really hound us. I feel like I could have stayed a little bit longer. Um, but I was really conscious of the time and that always throws me off. So you take like the time factor and the mask and the fact that there were no sales in the store. We'll get there, we'll get there. Uh, the staff was really nice. Everybody seemed happy to have people back in the store. Um, and I did show you a few things that I passed on. The other thing, you got a one hour limit. I waited outside for about 15 minutes to get in um, and all sales were final. So they're not accepting any of the merchandise back to the store. So it made me hesitant. I'm just happy the stores are open. And the nice thing about this particular Goodwill, unlike a Savers is, unless it's in their boutique area, which they seem to get rid of their boutique area. I saw a couple things mixed in with the general stuff, but unless it's a boutique area, you know, your Lucky Brand jeans are $6.49, just like the rest of them. And for the most part, it went like that. I went from the Goodwill to one of my favorite places, and I don't always talk about where I shop. I mean, I do, but this place is called Abby's House, and I like to share this because it's a church, and it's just a really nice shopping experience. I feel like the women there take a lot of pride in what they do. Um, it is pricier. I mean, it is. Like, a few of the things I picked up were like $9. I would never pay that much, but they've been closed all this time. And on the flip side, they're like athletic wear, like Nike shorts, Athleta skorts, t-shirts are all only $2. So at the end of the day, I think it balances out. So I'll look through everything. I'll see what my final cost of goods was, but overall great experience. Now I'm gonna head to one more store. So I'm going to show a few of the pieces from the haul um, this way, just because they're so much prettier under the light. This is a vintage gold label Victoria's Secret robe um, that I got at the Abbey house today or Abby's house. This was under house coats. They didn't have a robe category, but their house coats were just $4. So I just think this is so beautiful. It looks like there might be a little watermark here, but it's a one size and it's a vintage style. And I just love the colors for um, this time of year. I just think it's so beautiful. This was one of my favorite pieces from today. Uh, this was also purchased at Abby's house. Uh, look at the sleeves on here. This is like a poet sleeve jacket from Free People. Uh, the size tag is gone, but it is just so cool. I have some great um, stock photos that I will show you. I'm estimating it's like, you know, it's so hard with Free People. Could be an extra small, but it would like fit a large, but it's cropped. It's very lived in. Again, these like really fun, romantic, puffy sleeves. Um, yeah, with like a little bit of a moto jacket flare at the bottom. So this is really cool. There weren't too, too many of these, but I love it. All right, I just couldn't leave this behind. The colors were just so insane. This is like a muumuu. Um, they had this under nightgown, so it's a vintage. Oops, this is the back of it, I'm sorry. It looks the same from both sides, but it's a vintage California dynasty. Um, it's just polyester. Uh, made in the USA. Uh, it's just super cool. There is a real wide range of what these gowns go for. Uh, let me know if, in the comments if you have any experience selling these or I really have fun picking up vintage um, nightgowns. And yeah, I, I tend to think that they're usually underpriced. In this particular thrift shop um, a lot of their blouses jackets things were in the nine ten dollar range um, and they do really they do a beautiful job with their presentation and such so but i felt that their pajamas were really affordable so that's why i picked this up i just wanted to post some of these comps because i know this is not like your typical pickup uh, but these moomoos really can bring in a lot of money. Like you see a couple here for 50. I mean, you also see them for 18, 22, but some of it is just in the marketing. And I think if you get good photos in, it could really make for a great return. 
Alrighty, so here I am, day three of this kind of vlogging shopping experience. That last store that I went to was a local thrift store that somebody mentioned on my Instagram, so I figured I would check it out. It was a really beautiful consignment store, but the prices were very high. They had camo Lululemon capris, for example, but they were $35. And when I looked at the comps on this particular style, a lot of them were $45, $50, so it couldn't really justify purchasing. I would have bought them for Ange, but like they weren't good for reselling. And then as I was checking out, the woman's like, did you notice, you looked at the sign, right? Do you have anything on sale? Cause I didn't see that anything in the store was on sale except for one item that I'll show you that I bought. And it was color coded. So if it was a red, yellow, or blue tag, those were new, those were full price. Then there was a 25% off tag and a 50% off tag. So then I scoured the store again and it turned out that really everything I wanted was one of the full price tags. So beautiful store. The only thing I ended up getting there, uh, I will show you, were these jeans, these American Eagle jeans, because they were these were on a $1 rack. So I thought these were definitely worth a dollar because I'll be probably be able to flip them for about 20. And these are the Tom Girls and they are a size four regular. So definitely worth a dollar. They did have, um, they had a little bit of, see like maybe a little bit of staining on the back there. So I'm gonna throw them in the wash and just see if those come out. The other thing that I got there, I'm actually really excited about, and it leads me to something else I got. I, I don't do much with props in my pictures, but if you notice my photographs, I always have some like eucalyptus in the background and I wanted to try something else. So I got two little bunches like this, especially when I have lighter colored items up against the white backdrop of my photo box. Sometimes I just like to brighten it up. So I like to get um, some greenery for my photo. So this was like $4.50 because she had a lot of like giftware in that shop. But this I bought, and I'm really excited about this for two reasons. It's just this little creamer. It cost $8, and it's just very much my style and my kitchen. I have white cabinets, and um, I just like that farmhouse vibe, and it's just so pretty. It's just a creamer. Um, but then when I got home and I looked a little closer at it, a little more closely, it has this marking. And then I looked on the bottom, and it says... France, if you can see that. So I am wondering, so I went online and I just looked up pottery markings for France and there were so many images that came up. If anybody knows about hard goods or pottery, I'm just wondering what this actually might be worth. I'm keeping it for myself because I think it's an adorable creamer and it also looked kind of cute with my greens in it. This is very much my style in my kitchen. Um, but here's the funny story. Let me get that out of the way. I am part of a group, uh, Crazy Lamp Lady uh, has her own Facebook group, which I, apparently I don't think I'm a part of anymore. I thought I had followed that on Facebook. So I was searching for that group on my Facebook page because I was gonna put a picture of this pottery on because they're just people with a lot more experience with hard goods. And I couldn't find that page, but what I did stumble upon was like a free site for my town in the neighboring town. I'm like, oh gosh, I forgot I was part of this group. So I started looking and this one woman had a pair of like your very basic black dress shoes for men and then a pair of sneakers and she's it, it's all porch pickup and she was in my town. So um, I saw that a pair of the sneakers, it was kind of shaded the image, but I noticed that one of the sneakers, well, the sneakers that she was offering were Nikes. So I said, are those Nikes and are those available? She said, yes and yes. So I said, I'll take the Nikes. So she said, okay, I'll put them in a bag on my front porch. So. <laughs> I picked them up last night only because I was looking for the other group that I'm a part of for the pottery. And then I saw this, well, they turned out to be these like brand new Nikes. Um, they're, I think they're called Hydro Dunk, Hyper Dunk, Hyper Dunk. You know, I'm not a sneaker person. Um, and I don't know, I could either make $40 off of these or I could make 140. So on Amazon, these are from 2015 and I think the color wave is called um, Flame. So, I mean, they are in such good condition. They're men's size nines, free. They just drove by your house and they were in a bag. So I have a couple more items to show you from my friend Maureen, but I have to say this like free gig from Neighbors is pretty awesome especially after going to the thrift stores and experiencing like high prices or 
having to wear the mask just really changes the experience or limited time in a store. Um, so let me get into that. So for starters, as you saw, savers in my area are closed until my savers, which is like 15 minutes from my house, not even, opens next Tuesday. So I am filming this, I think it's June 10th, Wednesday, June 10th, is it? June 10th, yes. So next, I guess the 16th of June, that store will open. I'm also, I also called the Salvation Army in Worcester and he told me that they were opening on the 17th. So everything seems to be opening up next week. The Goodwills in Massachusetts, when I checked out at the one that I was in, which was in Worcester, um, they told me that there were six open in the state and a lot of them seem to be in the city. So the, the Boston Goodwills outlet that I go to, which is on Harrison Ave in Boston, the Goodwill store is open, but the bins are not open. And the bins, the Goodwill outlet in New Hampshire is open. Uh, and a lot of people, my DMs have been blowing up with questions about what's open, what's not open, which is great. I'm happy to share all this with you. So if you want to go to the bins and you're in the New England area, I'm pretty sure Connecticut opened last week, but I don't have any confirmation on that. I have a good source that said Connecticut is open. I wanted to just share some of the protocol that they have in place. Somebody was kind enough, thank you, Stephanie, to message it to me. Um, so by the pound rotation schedule, 8 to 9.30, they let like a wave in. And it sounds like what we're hearing from other resellers. You get one bin to yourself. Um, maximum capacity per rotation is looks like 40 people. And then at 9.30, you have to check out. Looks like they clean, they move, they do another rotation. Then there's another wave that comes in from 11 to 12.30 and another wave from 2 to 3.30. So no running, masks are strongly encouraged. One customer per table, shopping in designated X areas, whatever that means. Follow arrows on the floor, maintain six feet social distancing. Children must remain with parent or guardian. And then they have like the rotation schedule and more of the information. 50 tables of merchandise will be available with a maximum of one shopper per table. Maximum number of customers allowed in the outlet will be limited to 40. Hand sanitizer will be provided at the entrance and all customers are required to sanitize their hands as they enter, enter the facility. And that also happened at Abby's house, which was the, the other thrift store that I went to after Goodwill on my second day of shopping. So yes, yeah, really interesting to see the guidelines that are being put into place. It does definitely change the experience. So that is why it's really nice that I'm able to get some inventory from other places. So many people are like becoming professionals at online sourcing. I am not one of those people, but I have plenty to keep me busy. And I've been really happy that I've, you know, inherited things like these sneakers. And a lot of the stuff that my friend Maureen has given me has already sold. That's all going great. I do have a few more things to show you from Maureen and then I'm gonna get into the haul. This is just really quick stuff. This is a really cute old navy shirt with polka dots. It's new with tag. I love this. What size is this? It's a size medium. Otherwise I would keep it with a little ruffle, like a little peplum bottom. It's really cute. She also gave me this mermaid tail. Remember when these were uh, popular? It goes through so someone can stand there. It's like a blanket, but again, this is new with tag. Laugh Cat is the brand. And it's just like a knit afghan that goes up and it splits at the top so somebody can just cozy up with that. So I think that might do well on eBay. These are overalls from The Gap, which I was excited about. And they're extra large and they're tall. I do really well with clothing that is tall um, because I just think there's less on the market. So these are really great condition. I don't know, maybe 25 or $30 I'll end up getting for these. I'll probably list them around $40. They're from The Gap. So I mentioned this sweater in the haul, but I didn't have it during my last haul. Hello, isn't this so cute? There's a huge following for Nightmare Before Christmas, and I thought that this sweater was great. It is an extra large, but I would say it's like an extra large for juniors, so it it's probably more like a medium. I think people like to wear things a little bit slouchy, but really cute. And in my last haul, I showed the Nightmare Before Christmas tights, so I don't know if I'll put them together. Hey, Rockman. Hey, I need your charger. Um, yep, that's right there. Homework, two more weeks, two more weeks for Rock. 
to talk about your nightmare before Christmas stuff again. <laughs> Work hard. Have fun. Bye. There were a few more other things that Maureen had given me, but if I don't do a haul right away, stuff ends up all over the house. And these were from the other day too, yard sale. These chrome Nike goggles um, that my kids would probably take, but those were $2. Okay, so let's fast forward a little bit. I did have such a great day with my friend Jen, who once again, she's the savvy outfitter on Instagram. She gives so much information about local thrift shops. So if you want better detail than I just gave and you're a Massachusetts person, I don't wanna take up too much time with that because I realize that on YouTube, there are more than Massachusetts people watching. Um, but definitely check out Jen because she'll like post hours, restrictions, guidelines. She's really wonderful. Um, and she's pregnant and she's the cutest thing on earth and she's really great with fashion and I just love spending the day with her. So we did go to a place it's a local place in Massachusetts. It's kind of uh, an institution. It's been here forever. I just happen to never have, I've never been, or I went like two decades ago. So somebody had asked me about it because we did get some free people samples and it was a great store, um, but it's Jen's Honey Hole. So I'm not gonna share where it is, but if you live around here, you can probably figure it out. Um, but I did show earlier in the video what I got there. I explained a little bit um, while we were in the store. So a lot of their prices were like $19.99, $22.99. So less money than you would necessarily spend at like a TJ Maxx on free people. And because the store just opened, I don't know if they always do this, everything you purchased was 30% off. So a lot of those shirts that I picked up were between, I would say 16 and $20, like after the discount. So I definitely paid up. I have my receipt here and at that store, I got eight items and I spent $87. So um, I did also get some Spanx. The Spanx there were just $12.97. I need to do a little bit more research on the Spanx. They're just black basic Spanx. So I got a size small and then I got a size large Capri, but they were a little wide at the bottom of the Capri. So I wasn't crazy about those. Anyways, let's get into the haul because I've been very chatty and this is gonna be a super long video. So I got this really pretty moth sweater. I pick stuff up all year long. So it's a size large, it's very beautiful. It feels like alpaca, um, but it has these Dolan sleeves, Dolman sleeves, and it's a little short-waisted cowl neck, very, very soft, absolutely love this. All their sweaters are $6.50, I believe, at Goodwill. Does this say here? Um, sweaters, $5.49, I take that back, $5.49 for this. So really good prices. This I got at Abby's house. Um, this is a Victoria's Secret sports bra in a size large, just like a periwinkle with this incredible back. I love that back. So this I have listed already. It does have removable pads that are in there. So this was just $2. And if you shop at Savers, you know that they mark Victoria's Secret bar bras anywhere between like $6.99 and $9.99. So I'm always discouraged because those sell pretty decent for me, um, but I hate picking them up at Savers because there's so much money, so $2. This, I went back and forth on these. Um, I've been doing all right with Vineyard Vines. In fact, just today, I sold a boys blazer. Definitely be on the lookout for Vineyard Vines navy blue blazers for boys. Mine sold full price for $85. And before I ran comps on it, I probably would have listed it for like 45 or $50, given that it was a child size, but it wasn't 18, $85. Around here on the vineyard, Nantucket Island, Cape Cod, when people do summer weddings, it's those navy blue sports coats, Vineyard Vines is very classic New England wedding attire. So first communions, uh, all that stuff. So it's a great pickup. Anyway. These are women's size six and they're linen, which is the only reason I picked these up. If these were cotton, I would not have picked them up. I did not run comps because like I said, I was in a hurry. I ran comps on some, but I will probably own like 25 or $30 for these, I think. I think because they're linen, that ups the value. I got these at Abby's house. I always pick up these Nike dry fit running shorts, especially in black, especially in large, in good condition. And again, they're shorts. $2. These would be $6.99 at Savers and I would pass on them. But for $2, I grabbed them. This I went back and forth on, but for $2, I had to go back and get it. Let me know what you think. Um, this is really, I feel like a few years ago, I would have never picked this up. 
but I feel like this really goes along kind of on the same idea as the band tees. Like this looks really good with cutoff jeans. We get the 4th of July coming up. And honestly, look at this image of the bald eagle. It's actually pretty beautiful. Um, the pictures came out great for this. I think I have this listed for $28. And the comps were pretty decent on these tie-dye, like Americana patriotic shirts. So I don't know, I'm pretty obsessed with that bald eagle. And it's, there's no, um, there's no size tag on it, but it's, it's big. It's like, um, I think like 27 inches in the chest. So I just marked it as an extra large. This was the Moo Moo I showed earlier in the video. I mean, this was crazy. So this was considered a nightgown at Abby's house. So it was $3 and the brand is California Dynasty, and you saw the comps that I showed earlier. I mean, depending on who's in the market for this, this could go anywhere between $20 and $120. I'm, I think I'm gonna price it around 60 and just sit on it for a while and see how it does. Sometimes when I price my vintage nightgowns too high, they just sit for a while, but I'm gonna see how I do with it. Um, because who knows, if I end up selling it for 40, that's a great profit. This was a J. Jill sweater and I posted this on my Instagram story. I don't always pick up J. Jill, but look at the sweater. I mean, it's out of season, it's petite and it's J. Jill. But oh my goodness, these are my colors. So beautiful. And from the seam to the, to the hem is 31 inches. So clearly, I hate even putting that it's a petite because it puts so many people off, but this would definitely, I mean, and look at the arms, like the arms are long. It's a button front. It's a size medium petite. It's got wooden buttons. Absolutely beautiful. I can't even remember what I priced that at. That was Goodwill. So that was $5.49 at Goodwill. These were again in the pajama section at Abby's house. You can tell I was like, I was a little frustrated by the prices in the store. It was very small. That's why I ended up filming in that back room. And I don't know why, because I don't pick up a lot of hard goods, but I wanted to get some footage inside there. So I filmed back there, but their pajama selection was really good. And I do well with pajamas. I just sold a pair of pajamas like this. They were from Anthropology, so similar to this vibe. Paisley, boho, cotton, and they sold for $26 and they were mine. So when I saw these, I'm like, oh, I wanna replace. So the comps on these were anywhere between um, $13 and $30. EVI designs made in India, 100% cotton, and these are an extra large really cute. I may have to try these on. I don't need them, but they're so cute. Those are listed, I think $28. I sold the Patriots shirt from my friend Maureen that I showed in my video. So then I picked up another one. Anytime I see the old school Patriots logo, I love to pick it up. And I love getting like feminine shirts um, because I just feel like the guys sports shirts are kind of a dime a dozen. But when I find women's shirts, I thought this was so cute. Again, $2 at Abby's house. This was my best purchase at Abby's house and I showed it up close and personal, um, but this is that Free People Poets. Look at the sleeves on this, so cool. And then it's got like the moto belt at the bottom. I just think this is so awesome. I love the color of it. It's just like this classic camel color. And um, the, oh, here's the tag. I think it's a linen cotton blend, which I think I need to update um, my listing. Linen and cotton, I really can't see. I am getting so blind. When I take my contacts out at night, I can see everything up close, but during the day, forget it. I just can't see a damn thing. Okay, have my laundry basket again. <laughs> that worked for me last time. So as some of you may know, I recently bought a Peloton and I'm loving it. It's been wonderful. Comment below if you want me to do a video on my experience with Peloton because I feel like being someone in my mid 40s who's kind of overweight, <laughs> I was really afraid to ride the spike, but it's so motivating. So I wanna do a video on it, but I've been looking for um, shorts and they're relatively expensive. I'm not gonna keep these because I'm just not like a multi-color and these are two XL. So these are brand new with tag. I paid $6 for these. There's the label. They are a 2X and they are a pat, they are padded. So um, it does hurt for a while on the bike, but I'm kind of getting used to it now. Uh, but I definitely want to pick these up because I think during quarantine, so many people have bought these Peloton bikes. I mean, they are back ordered for weeks. And I just think that 
those are in high demand right now. So this I got at Goodwill and I thought this was a good pickup. It's a Kate Spade, just a very basic knit, classic look. Um, it's an extra large, which I was excited about. It just has like the little gold spade right here. And this was $4.99. So this is what I love about Goodwill as opposed to Savers. Like I feel like Savers, you look through their shirts and some are $3.99 and some are $12.99. So at Goodwill, unless it's in the boutique area, they're pretty much just $4.99. So I do like that about Goodwill. Oh, oh, I showed this. This is the um, little flurry skirt that I got on Retail Arbitrage. Um, so the sample tags, they just kind of have a label on them like this, but I, I think Angie has claimed this, so that's going over there. These I got at Goodwill. I was really excited about these. These are the Georgia Fit Denim jeans. Uh, they're jean shorts. They have like, they do have a little cuff, but they're still like raw edge that's cuffed up and they are Lucky Brand and they are a size 18. So I was really happy that I picked up a few plus size pieces here. I thought these were really great in beautiful condition and the shorts were like $5 at Goodwill. This is the Victoria's Secret nightgown that I showed earlier. And this I ended up getting at uh, Abby's house as well. This is just, it's an older tag, Athleta, but just a really cute skirt. And I think that anytime I do like a skirt, this has like the netting underneath, like the built-in shorts. When you have a piece like this and you use the keywords golf, tennis, I usually say skirt, skirt, built-in shorts. I use all those as many keywords as I can get in, especially for my eBay listing. Um, this style does very well. Uh, and this was again, $2. I also got like a very Lori style shirt, like the one I'm wearing. Um, and I paid $9 for it, just a plain black shirt, but I live in clothes like this. I don't know if I showed this earlier, but it's already packaged up. Uh, and that pink top that I showed from my, from the sample sale already sold. So thank you, Dee Dee. That's off to Manhattan to one of my best customers who loves free people. And then this one, I think I showed earlier too. So the free people stuff is already packaged up. I had to run downstairs because I wanted to grab uh, the, the shorts that I bought at that first stop because these are really cute. They're both extra small and they're free people. This was the sample tag, which was kind of interesting. I've never seen that. But these are called the Rain Runner shorts and the comps were really good. So the unique thing about these right here is I did not see this color. So what I saw when you look online and I'll pop a picture up, you see this color underneath and then you also see the band that that's, that is also that color. Um, so this was really unique, but the comps on these were anywhere between 30 and 50 or $60. I think I have them listed for 55 and this is a more common color, but these white ones, which are really cute, they're just super feminine. These are great tennis shorts as well with the yellow mesh underneath, but adorable. These were a very good price. These were marked $12.95, these were marked $8.95, plus I got 30% um, off, so that was great. And then these are the shorter Spanx that I picked up. Jen had done the research. Um, the, the comps are pretty decent, but this is these are the large. I'm gonna try these on too, because these might be good for the Peloton. This is more me. It looks like they were a little bit wider, but maybe not. And then this, I forgot to show this. This is beautiful. I picked this up at Goodwill and I photographed it last night. So it's, it's starting to get wrinkled, but this is a Vince blouse. It is a size large, which is great. And it's silk, of course, but it has these really sheer arms. So the back is almost like that burnout sheer. You'd probably have to wear a camisole or something under this because it's essentially see-through. Um, and then the front is just, oh, this is so beautiful. So I did, under the lights, it looked like there was a tiny bit of discoloration somewhere, but I don't know. I had steamed it right before I photographed it. I think you can just barely see it right here. Um, yeah, maybe that's where it was, but absolutely beautiful. I loved, loved that top. This, I don't know if any of you out there are hydro flask people. So uh, my kids love hydro flasks. They cost like 40, $50, between like 30 and 50, depending on the size you get. And then they have these like removable tops. So they had this with like 
like a different lid that somebody had like chewed on. So it was kind of gross, but they, this was at Goodwill for $2.99. So if anybody buys hydro flasks, you know what a deal that is. And I had this lid because um, this came with some of the ones that I bought for my kids, which they then swapped out for the ones that have the built-in straws. So I was able to throw away the straw and the other lid and I put this together. So, I mean, it's definitely banged up a little bit in places, but either we'll use it or um, I'll sell it and I'll probably make like, I don't know, 15 or $20 on that. And then lastly, I didn't show this yet. Um, I got this Peloton Yeti water bottle um, with my Peloton credit. I think I have like maybe a few left. Um, I have a code that if you purchase a Peloton, we each get $100 in apparel. So I just have been using some of my stuff for resale. So I bought two of these. I'm gonna keep one and it's got like the glass bottle inside with the lid and then I'm gonna sell one. So I think they sell for like $45. I'm just gonna list it for whatever whatever um, Peloton has it for. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. Let me know how you like these thrift with me style videos. I know this is a long one. I covered two days of shopping. Um, there'll be more to come. And as I get back into the swing of things, there'll be a little bit more streamlined. And um, once I figure out how to maneuver everything with the masks and the restrictions, I'll film more inside the store because I know that's always fun to be brought along for that. I'm not doing a live this week, but I'll be back with another video on Sunday. I think it's time for what sold. We're like almost two weeks into June. I need to do my what sold video. So that will be Sunday's video and that's all. I hope you guys are having a great week. Thanks so much. Love you guys. Bye.